Sorry it has been so long since I talked to you guys last and last uploaded a video, but just life, things that get in the way of YouTube have come into play, so gonna definitely stay on track and get back to two to three, sometimes four videos a week starting next week. But like I said, I do apologize. I know last week I believe I only put out two videos, and like I said, I do apologize, guys. But I'm still here, still training, still staying on top of my nutrition, and still enjoying making these videos. But it's just something that I don't want to put a video out just to put a video out. So today I'm going to be showing you guys a back workout of mine, back and biceps specifically. And I actually started out the workout with some sumo deadlifts. So as you can see by the title of this video, this is going to be more about how I actually structure this workout specifically as an example and how you could kind of apply this to your back workouts like today or your chest workouts, um, push days, pull days, whatever you call it, or even your leg days. So I'm going to start out, like I said, with some sumo deadlifts. I end up hitting actually a PR 435 at around 159 body weight. and. I'm gonna show you guys that now, just kind of show you the warm-up sets. I don't think I, I don't believe I filmed too much warm-up sets, but I'm gonna show you guys that now, and then I'm gonna move into the rest of the workout. So, I'm gonna kind of briefly talk about how I structure these workouts and why I do it this way. Basically, as you guys are gonna see, I'm using a strength rep range for my compound movement on this day. So this day is gonna be a sumo deadlift. So compound movement just meaning you're using more than one joint in the movement itself. So like a pull up, bench press, squat, deadlift, those are all examples of compound movement. So I always like to start out my workouts with a compound movement no matter what day it is. And specifically on this day we started out with sumo deadlift. So being that I'm working in a strength rep range, I'm working between one and usually around eight reps. So sometimes I will go up into the 10, 12, 15 rep range on these compound movements, but there's always one session per week that I am using a strength rep range. So with that being said, today's rep range was just gonna be one rep. I was coming into the gym planning on going for a one rep max, so specifically on this day, my rep range that I was using was just one rep max. I was working up to a one rep max. Typically on a normal day, I might be doing something like three sets of three reps at, let's say, 335, 345, and that would be my strength workout or my strength rep range in the sumo deadlift on that specific day. So there's not a specific way you need to do this. I'll change up my rep ranges weekly, progress through different rep ranges, and that way I know I'm progressing because I'm throwing different stimulus at, the, at my body by using different weights and using different rep ranges. So by doing that, I'm able to progress in the strength rep ranges and also carry that over, carry that strength over to my hypertrophy rep ranges. So if I were to do this on a squat day, for instance, I might do um, five sets of five reps with squats, then I might move into more of my high volume type of leg day after I get done with my squats. So I'm always doing some high volume, more bodybuilding style of training, but it usually comes after I get done with those the, um, strength rep ranges or the comp compound movements as I was calling them earlier. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense for you guys, but then the rest of the workout, we started out with a lat pull down. Sometimes I would do pull ups as my compound movement on my back days, but on this day I specifically I decided to do sumo. So it's really all back to what you guys want to do. If you're someone who just cares about size, then by all means you don't need to be putting these compound movements in. Christian Guzman is a perfect example of someone who doesn't ever deadlift and he doesn't really care about his strength at the moment, specifically because he's working on his physique. So that's just a, a testament to show you guys that you don't have to do everything that everyone else is doing or you don't have to do the big three specifically and think that you're not gonna be able to progress. So that all comes back to what you wanna do as your own individual person and your fitness goals. So after I get done with those strength compound movements or just the compound movement in general, I typically will go to more of a 10 to 15 rep range. So even on the strength days that I would call them, I'm still getting in that higher volume. The strength days I might do maybe a, a slightly less rep range, maybe like eight to 10 reps, which is still getting close to that hypertrophy range, but I'm able to use heavier weight for those hypertrophy movements. And in turn, that's gonna help me, and in turn, the strength work is gonna help me get stronger at those hypertrophy movements. So 
people ask me all the time, why do you do this sort of thing? Why do you always do strength first and then go to hypertrophy? Why don't you just work on hypertrophy? Because I specifically believe that doing that strength work correlates over to the hypertrophy. So if I'm able to do a heavier deadlift with for a one rep max or for even three rep max, I believe that my lats are gonna be that much stronger and able to use and hold more weight effectively with good form on a seated row, on a lat pull down, just because I'm able to get my grip strength up by using those heavier weights and just a number of different things. Like for squats, I believe that most of my mass has come from using those high optimal weights close to my one rep max for lighter, lower rep ranges. So hopefully this makes sense to you guys. Hopefully this kind of gives you a little bit of a structure and my mindset when I go into my workouts and how I kind of structure them out. This is something I've been doing for a while now. For about two years, most of my training is based off strength. I just started adding in more hypertrophy this past winter, which is really when my body's starting to kind of grow in the most and kind of come into its own when it comes to actually the bodybuilding end of things. And I just wanted to kind of talk to you guys about this, get you guys a video out on something I've been thinking about lately, and just apologize for not coming out with more content. I will be back, like I said, next week, getting back in the groove of things. So. Stick with me guys, thank you for watching if you are still sticking around. Please drop a like below and please comment guys, I love hearing your comments, your feedback, whether you, f you have questions on the video or just want to say something about the video, I would definitely appreciate that. But like I said guys, subscribe to my channel already, like the video if you have not already, excuse me, and I'll talk to you guys very soon. Thank you once again for watching. <laughs>